When we ponder upon the love of Christ, we are invited into a journey that transcends mere human understanding and enters the realm of divine mystery. This journey is beautifully encapsulated in the scripture found in John 3.16, a verse that resonates with profound simplicity yet encompasses an ocean of depth. It reads, For God so loved the world that he gave his only Son, that whoever believes in him should not perish but have eternal life. At the heart of this passage lies the essence of Christian faith, the unconditional love of Jesus Christ. This love, as demonstrated by Christ, is not bound by the limitations that often characterize human affection. It's not constrained by our faults, our misgivings, nor our transgressions. It is a love that sees beyond our flaws, reaching into the core of our being. To fully grasp the magnitude of this love, it is essential to understand the context in which Jesus lived and ministered. He came into a world rife with religious, social, and cultural barriers. Yet, his message and his love broke through these barriers. Jesus reached out to the marginalized, the sinners, the outcasts, and those deemed unworthy by societal standards. In doing so, he demonstrated a love that is inclusive, a love that embraces all humanity. This inclusive love of Christ is not just a historical account. It has practical implications for our daily lives. In a world that is often divided by differences, be it race, religion, socioeconomic status, or political beliefs, the love of Christ calls us to transcend these divisions. It invites us to view each other through the lens of compassion and understanding, recognizing the inherent worth and dignity in every person. The love of Christ challenges us to reflect on our own lives. It prompts us to question how we love others. Are we loving unconditionally? Or are our affections tainted by judgment and prejudice? Are we willing to reach out to those who are different from us? to those who may have wronged us, or to those whom society has pushed to the fringes. Embracing the love of Christ also means embracing a path of forgiveness and reconciliation. Christ's love was so profound that he willingly suffered and died on the cross for our sins. This ultimate sacrifice was the epitome of unconditional love, a love that forgives and offers a new beginning. In our lives, this means being willing to forgive those who have hurt us and seeking reconciliation where there is strife and discord. Additionally, the love of Christ compels us to act. It is not a passive love that merely feels affectionate sentiments. Instead, it is an active love that manifests in deeds of kindness, acts of justice, and efforts to uplift the downtrodden. It is a love that feeds the hungry, clothes the naked, and cares for the sick. It is a love that stands up against injustice and advocates for the voiceless. In today's fast-paced and often self-centered world, living out the love of Christ can be challenging. It requires us to step out of our comfort zones, to put the needs of others before our own, and to live in a way that reflects Christ's love to the world. It calls for a selfless attitude, a generous heart, and a spirit of humility. Furthermore, the love of Christ is a source of hope and strength. In times of trouble, despair, or loneliness, it is this love that provides comfort and peace. It reassures us that we are never alone, that we are valued, and that our lives have purpose. It is a love that heals the brokenhearted and brings light into the darkest of circumstances. The love of Christ also offers us a new perspective on life. It encourages us to look beyond the temporary pleasures and pursuits of this world and to focus on what is eternal. It teaches us to value relationships over possessions, service over self-interest, and spiritual wealth over material gain. 
I invite you to meditate on the love of Christ in your own life. This reflection is not just an intellectual exercise, but a call to a deeper, more personal understanding and embodiment of this profound love. Christ's love is transformative, and when it truly takes root in our hearts, it reshapes our perspectives, our actions, and our interactions with others. Firstly, consider how you can demonstrate the love of Christ to others. This love is not selective. It reaches out to everyone, transcending boundaries of ethnicity, social status, and even moral standing. In your daily life, look for opportunities to show kindness and understanding, even in situations where it might be challenging. It could be as simple as offering a listening ear to someone going through a hard time, providing a meal to someone in need, or extending a gesture of kindness to a stranger. Each act of love, no matter how small, is a reflection of Christ's love. Think about how you can practice forgiveness just as you have been forgiven. Forgiveness is one of the most challenging aspects of love, especially when the hurt is deep. Yet, it is at the heart of Christ's message. Reflect on any grudges or bitterness you might be holding on to and ask for the grace to let go. Forgiving does not mean forgetting the hurt, but rather choosing to release resentment and seek peace. This act of forgiveness not only liberates the person who wronged you, but also brings healing to your own heart. Contemplate how you can make a difference in the world through acts of kindness and compassion. The love of Christ compels us to action. It calls us to be agents of change in a world that desperately needs hope and light. This can involve volunteering your time and resources to help those in need, standing up against injustice, or simply spreading positivity and encouragement in your everyday interactions. Each of us has a unique role to play in making the world a better place, and when we act in love, we are following in the footsteps of Christ. Remember, the love of Christ is not just a concept to be admired. It is a reality to be lived. It's a powerful force that can change the world, one heart at a time. When we live out this love, we become beacons of hope and sources of comfort to those around us. We reflect the very nature of Christ, who is love incarnate. The greatest gift we have received is the love of Christ, a gift so profound and life-changing that it cannot be contained. It is meant to be shared, to overflow from our lives into the lives of others. As you go about your day, keep this love at the forefront of your mind. Let it guide your actions and your words. Let it be the reason you choose kindness over judgment, compassion over indifference, and forgiveness over bitterness. I encourage you to take a moment each day to reflect on the love of Christ and how it is manifesting in your life. Ask yourself how you can show this love more fully and faithfully. Pray for the strength and wisdom to live out this love in all its fullness. The journey of embodying Christ's love is lifelong and ever-evolving but it is also the most rewarding journey you will ever embark on.